Okay, so you're more than ready to make your website go live, but what do you do next? How do I actually make this thing that I designed the real deal invisible on the web? Well, you're going to need a domain. What is a domain and how do I go about getting one? I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on how to do just that. If you're new here, my name is Carissa and I'm a show at website design and dedicated to helping you get your website launched and polish your presence online. Now you need a domain to have your own little corner of the web, but what even is a domain anyway? Consider it like the street address of your online home. So like for example, franklinandwillow.com or google.com. Okay, so great, but how do I get one? You can purchase a domain from what's called a domain registrar. These are things like Google Domains or GoDaddy. I almost always use Google Domains because it jives really well with Show It, so that's what I'm gonna be showing you in this video, but just know there are other options out there. And don't worry, domains really don't cost that much. With Google Domains, it's really only about $12 a year. So to buy a domain, just go to domains.google and you'll see this page. Type in your desired domain name or website address into the search bar. For this example, I'll just type in franklinwillow.com. Then you'll see all the options that Google suggests for you. In this case, we can see that franklinandwillow.com is taken, but there are some other options available. So just choose the one that you want, add it to your cart, and then check out. Now make sure to write down your login information because you're gonna need this handy when it comes to setting up this domain with your Show It website. So speaking of, let's go ahead and point this domain to your Show It website design that you are all done customizing. Let's pop on over to show it to initiate this process. But wait a second, you might be like, whoa, whoa, Krista, this is like way too techy for me. But actually lucky for you, show it support really takes care of all of that techy nerdy stuff for you. So there really isn't too much on your part to do when it comes to all this techy stuff. While you're in your workspace, click site settings at the top left. Then where it says custom domain, hit edit. Next, you'll just follow through the questions that it asks. So since we just got done purchasing a domain name, you can hit yes and enter in that domain name here. So something like franklinwillow.com, then hit next. Now we'll check all the settings that apply. So if you already have a website live at this domain or website address, just be sure to hit yes and select the way that your website was built. Also make sure to mark whether or not you have a blog and an email. So meaning something like hello at franklinwillow.com. So like something where you have your domain after the at sign. So just make sure you mark that that's currently at the domain as well. Now, after hitting next, select the option that indicates that you want show it to configure your, do your domain for you. And remember those login credentials I wanted you to have handy earlier? This is where you're gonna need them. So you'd select Google Domains or whatever other registrar that you've used and then put in your username and password so that show it can, can do what they need to do to get everything rocking and rolling properly. Then just confirm your information and provide a phone number so that they can reach out with any questions. Now, it might take a few days for all this to go through, so just be patient. And this is actually a really good reason why it's nice to have a coming soon page up, so that you can take care of this process at least a week in advance of when you actually want to launch your full website to the world. To learn about how to set up that coming soon page, I talked about that in the last video, so be sure and check that out. But then after they've got this all set up, they'll send you an email with any other further instructions, and then you should be all set. And if you do have that coming soon page set as your homepage, like I talked about in the last video, that is what people are going to see when they type in your domain, so franklinandwillow.com. Now, if you want to be setting up a blog that connects with your Showa account, you'll need to be sure and indicate this to Showa as well. And to learn all about how blogging works with Showa, because sometimes it can get a little bit confusing, be sure and hit that video that's on your screen right now because I'm going to be giving you the full scoop. 